Hey all, Tina here, and today we're going to talk about Timu. I have three things I want to do in this video. I want to give you some hits and misses from previous Timu products that I've reviewed on my channel. Some of it was PR, some I purchased myself. And now that I have a little more experience using these products, I have some thoughts. Then I have some new items that I received. And actually, this was a PR haul that I received hmm, maybe two months ago. And I just haven't had the time or the motivation to actually review them for you. And so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to talk about the future of Timu on my channel. So first, let's get into those thoughts about products that I've been using for a while. I'm not going to review every product that I use. I'm going to hit the highs and the lows. And so you can just assume that if I don't talk about something that I'm, it was okay and I'm probably still using it, but I'm not wowed by it. First, the makeup products that I really, really like and use all the time. And these two eyeshadow palettes, I really like. This Aromas from You Can Be is super pretty. I think it's a Huda Beauty dupe, but um, I think you can also probably find this on Amazon. I'm not sure. I know you can find some You Can Be products on Amazon, but this is really pretty. I have used this several times. I'm not disappointed in the quality, the pigment, the payoff, the shimmers, everything. Really like this. This one is from Novo. I love on the front of it, it says smooth and docile makeup. I would hate to have that ferocious makeup. It's really hard to open though. There we go. It reminds me of the Going Coconuts palette that I can't use because I think three of the shades in there have Carmine. And so this is just a really pretty neutral palette and it does a pretty, a pretty look. So I am happy with the quality of the eyeshadow palettes. I also really like the Hendayan highlighter. When I first reviewed it, I wasn't thrilled with it because I thought it was really kind of beaming. I think there might be like a glitter toppery on here and I think I've gotten through it now. And it's actually really smooth and just a really pretty highlight. I like the way it looks on my cheeks. So Erica, at first I said I didn't agree with you, but you knew what you were talking about. It's really good. And then the other thing that I like and use all the time is this eyeliner and mascara set that's from Yankina. And this is a 4D lengthening thick curl mascara. Just really like the way my lashes look with this. It is a little bit stringy so you have to be careful when it first comes out that you kind of clean off the end of that so it doesn't like drip on your face or something but you know once you know that you know it and you can deal with it i really don't use the liquid eyeliner much i like it but i just don't use liquid eyeliner at all of any brand so it is a set they come together but i really only use the mascara and then the other makeup products most of them were fine i did not like the tricolor primer and that's because it really didn't do anything. But worse than that, it had a very heavy perfumey fragrance that did not dissipate when you put it on your face. I could still smell it later in the day and I didn't like that. This eye primer really disappoints me because I really liked it when I first got it. It was creamy. It was very smooth. It's the perfect color for my fair skin to just hide all of the imperfections on my eyelids and it helped my eyeshadow stay on so well. But lately I've been pulling it out to use it and I thought it was just because, you know, it needed to be squeezed or shook up or whatever. But watch what happens when I blend this out. So I put a little on here and when I start to blend it, it like grabs and sticks. It's like the oil has separated out of it or something. And then it just, it just gets weird and clumpy. And so while I thought this was going to be my new holy grail, I've only had this a few months, maybe three months, and it's just separated and I can't use it. So this is going to go in the trash and I don't recommend it. The other thing that I have decided to declutter is this Conceal and Define Concealer. At first when I used it in my try on video, I liked it, but then when I used it later, I did not. I didn't think it gave very good coverage and it kind of wanted to settle in my fine lines. So I'm getting rid of that. The fact that I tried a full face of Timu makeup and I have four items that are like, yes, I use these every day, makes me feel like I really don't want to recommend Timu makeup. So you may have tried other things and really liked those and that's great. But as far as what I'm going to recommend for you to try, I'm going to say just stay away. That said, I have had much better luck on non-makeup products, household gadgets, I've had some things that I really like there. My telescoping magnet tool, I love this. It's not only great for depotting eyeshadows, but if I drop my tweezers, 
<laughs> I don't have to bend over to pick them up. So anyway, I do really like this and it was only like $2.49 or something. So that's a very handy tool. I also got the thermal tights and I really liked those. I wore those when it was cold. We'll pull them back out again and wear them in the, in the fall and the winter when it's cold again. Yeah, those were good. The four pack set of face sponges. These are awesome. I have two left, one that I'm using right now and one in reserve. And when they are gone, I will buy them again. They're the perfect amount of squishy. This one's still damp from this morning. They're the perfect amount of squishy with firm to put things on. They don't suck up a lot of product and they clean really easily. And I get about a month out of each one, which I think is great. I wash my sponge every time right before I use it because I have to dampen it anyway. So I just put a little of my sponge cleaner on there and just clean it before I use it. So I do definitely recommend this little four pack of sponges. My pencil case desk organizer. I love this and I think I might get another one. This one has my eyeliners and my pencil sharpener in it and the little telescoping tool. I think I would like to have one for my lip pencils because then I could divide them out by color, the nudes, the berries, the oranges, that kind of thing. I think that would be really helpful. And then I want another one because I would like to put my mascaras in them. So these are great and I think I want two more. My little Q-tip holder has been doing great, holding up well. I like having them all contained. They stay clean and I can get one at a time. So this was also a very good purchase. You know, I looked at these like at Marshall's and TJ Maxx and they were still $4.99, $5.99, something like this. And I think this was just, you know, less than two bucks. So very happy with that. The lighted 10X makeup mirror, really, really like this. I like that the mirror is so large that I can see like my whole face. A lot of times I use my little one just when I'm doing something on an eye. But I really like that I have more, that I can see more of myself in this one. And it does stick down to the table and stay there. So yeah, this was good. It does take batteries. I wish that I had found one that was chargeable. I had recorded some other products from Timu that I got and I can't find the clips. So a real quick recap. I got this water bottle. It leaked. It's horrible. I threw it away. I got this phone mount for my car and it is really weird how it attaches and there's no good place in my truck for it to attach so i'm not using that either however i got this window cleaner for your car and it works amazing it's really great for getting right in there between the window and the dashboard where you can never reach and then the couch cover that i got i do like the way it fits it stays on but I don't like that it's textured because when I sit on the couch like in shorts or if I cross my legs, then I get this really weird waffle pattern on my skin. And it came with these little foam things that you put down in the sides and in the back. It's supposed to help it stay tucked in. And as soon as you sit on the couch, then they pop out. So I don't use those, but it really doesn't seem to matter because it still stays tucked in. And finally, the hair catcher. It does not work at all. I used it in several loads and never had one single strand of hair caught in the net, even though there was hair on my clothes. For these new Timu items, I've moved myself over because I did do a try on and film those clips and I will put them over here as I'm talking about the items. So the first shirt I have is this t-shirt and it has a crossover front that then comes to the back and it has kind of a lettuce lettuce hem and then just a regular short sleeve and you can see here in the try on that I think it fits really well it is a true to size medium I'm a medium in pretty much everything in tops and so I think this fits true to medium size and then the second shirt that I have is also a t-shirt but again a little bit of an elevated t-shirt this one has a double sleeve and it's v-neck the sleeve is a kind of a raglan set in style like that. And then the bottom is just straight. And so again, looking at the try on, I think it fits really well and does fit true to size. So, and the quality on these feels really good. They are a heavier material than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting like 348 Walmart style tee kind of quality. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes, especially if I'm working around the house, that's exactly what I want to wear but I was hoping that these would be a little bit of a step up from those, and they are. And then the final item that I got, I can't show you because it doesn't fit. 
This is a dress and I thought it was super cute. It's, you can see it's a, a black and white polka dot. It's kind of a 1950s style. I'm going to just see if I can find it and put the picture over here so you can see what it's supposed to look like. I think if I got it in a large, it would have fit around my middle, but even with the medium, it was really large in the bust and I'm not very busty. And so if you're, you know, larger than I am, it might work out okay. But if I went to the large to make it fit around my waist, then it would have just been enormous on top. I really need to return this one while I'm still in the 90 day return window and see if I can get something else because I really would like to have another dress. And they're so inexpensive that it's nice because you can get a little trendy without feeling like you're just spending a lot of money on something that you're only going to wear for a season or two. So those are my fashion items. And then I got this little clip for my daughter. I thought it was super cute. It was one of those clips that you clip in your, into your hair, but you leave a section out above it and then you set separate that section, twist it, whatever, and each butterfly then holds a strand of hair. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out just on the side of my head. You would probably do this in the back, but give me a second here. Okay, so I did do it. I don't know what it looks like because I can't see the side of my head, but that's the idea of it anyway. And I think it's really cute. The butterflies are a little bit flexible. They're kind of on a foam or something, which is interesting. So just a fun little hair doodad. I also got this brush and it is intended for like body makeup. And I got it because I have eczema on my legs and sometimes it flares up and it looks terrible. And normally it doesn't bother me. I just wear shorts, wear capris, and it just is what it is. At first I was really self-conscious about it and I just wanted to wear long pants all the time and I decided that, you know what, I'm just not. I have it, it's there, and I'm just not going to be hot because of it. But there are times when I'm dressed up that it does bother me. And so I was thinking that if I got some body makeup that this would be good to put it on with because it's bigger, it's dense, and it would help really buff it in to help it look more natural. I haven't found the leg makeup that I want to use yet. I did buy one from Sally Hansen, but ooh, boy, was it orange. So I sent that back. I got it off of Amazon. So if you have any recommendations for an affordable body makeup product that will set down, not rub off on your clothes, that sort of thing, let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. That would be very helpful for me. Thank you. One thing to know when you get something from Timu and it comes in a box, your boxes are all going to look like this because they pack everything very tightly into a poly mailer, those orange poly mailers, and then they wrap it all over with packing tape and just squish everything together. So any boxes you get are going to come destroyed. This is a heated eyelash curler. Okay, this one came with a little USB charger. It does apparently have a little bit of a charge because the light is green. It does come with directions, so let me see what it says. So apparently there are two temperatures. There's a low temperature, but if you press the power again, it goes red and that's the higher temperature. So you can decide what temperature you want for curling your lashes. It needs to preheat about 30 seconds and I'm feeling it and there is warmth there, but it's not hot. I mean, I can touch that without burning myself. So that would be one thing I would be concerned about with anything heated near the eye. It's going to need to be very, very mild heat. And this is. Now I have false lashes on, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll give it a shot. It says to clamp it. And I also have mascara on. Okay, so I got it in there. It says to clamp for three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! Okay, that was probably not a very good idea because it did kind of pull off the false lash. And I didn't really clamp it very hard because I've got mascara on and I didn't want to break my lashes. I will try this again and let you guys know because if it works, I think it would be really nice to have. When you're charging it, it says the red light will come on. When it's fully charged, the green light comes on. It says that the eyelash clip is removable and replaceable. So I don't know if that's just this part or if you replace this whole power part. I don't know. It was pretty easy to get off and it just slides right back on. If you're a gadget girl like I am, that's kind of fun. And the final thing that I got was this poly nail kit and it comes with the poly nail material, a brush, the nail tips, 
and a whole bunch of these little uh, buffing pads, like a whole bunch. And then the clip that you hold the nail on while you put it under the light. So my intention is to try this and film it top down so you can see me doing this. I've never done this before, so it could be a hot mess. So there is an instruction sheet and I will follow this to see if they're good instructions or not. And if I'm completely lost, then I will go to YouTube because oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough or not, but I'm going to give it a shot and then I will insert that here. So I really should do my cuticles and everything, but if I stop to do that, then will be another hour before I get this done and then it'll be time to fix supper and it just won't get done. So I am going to follow the directions that they gave me here and it says to trim and file your nail lightly. So I'm going to use one of the little buffing pads that they gave me and I'm going to buff my nail. Now I said before that I have never done this process before, the poly gel nail and that's true, but I have done regular gel nails. I have a light. This is Bolasin or Bola, Bolasin. I don't know how you pronounce it. Professional nail equipment. It's the Sun Plus light. And I had gotten a kit off of Amazon at one time, but the light wasn't very strong and it took forever to cure the polish. So I got a better light. Okay, so that was trim and file your nail lightly. Apply a very thin layer of base coat and cure it under a UV LED lamp. So I already have a set from Airbrit that I got off of Amazon that has a base coat. So very thin coat, it says. And okay, so very light coat. I'm only going to do one nail on here. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so Still looked a little tacky. I'm going to go for another 30 seconds. Okay, they give you a whole bunch of the fingernail forms. Select a suitable shape and size false nail tip. So I did that. Apply poly UV gel on nail mold. It is sealed. That's good. And use nail art pen with cleaner. I guess I mean this brush here to make gel smooth. So I don't know what they mean by cleaner. I got some alcohol and I'm going to use that to smooth the poly gel. Hopefully that will work because I don't know what they mean by cleaner. I really don't know how much of this to use. It doesn't say how much of it to use. So I'm just going to squeeze some on there and see what I get. This is a really pale pink. I'm trying to really smooth it out. Without it getting too long, I don't really like super long nails. So then you're supposed to, yeah, I don't, I don't know that this is going to be enough, but we'll give it a shot. You're supposed to put it on there and it says, make sure that it is plying up. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take the clip. Well, it's actually kind of squeezing out. So I'm going to take that off of there. I don't want to cure that on my cuticle. And it's kind of lifted. So put that on there. I'm assuming that's what that does. And we'll go in. Okay, here we go. It doesn't say how long to cure it. So I'm going for 60 seconds and we'll see what that does. Okay. And then it says to take off the form. I'm just going to kind of squeeze and ah, it came off. And it's a little bit crooked, but I guess that's because I had it on crooked. It is cured. Then remove the false nail, trim the shape and polish your nails. So I guess I can use this then to file it into the shape I want. It's very sheer, but it's really clunky underneath here. And I don't know how you avoid that. Maybe when I squeezed it, I needed to clean that up first because it's really thick right there. Hmm. Okay. So that will be something definitely want to do the next one to watch for. 
And please, if you've done this before and have advice for me, put it in the comments below. I need a better file. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it filed and it's not perfect. It's still really thick under here, but it looks pretty good from the top. And it is a little bit askew because I didn't have the nail tip on there straight, but it's the first one I've ever done. So we'll cut me some slack and assume that I'm going to get better. So I have the top coat. I will put that on. And cure it. Because I have done gel nails before, I have the heavy duty files and I have the base and top coat and I have the light. So if you have never done that and you don't have these things, buying this little poly gel kit from Timu is not going to be everything you need to do a set of poly gel nails. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, it feels, it's not as thick as acrylic and I like that. So when I do the next one, and put the clip on before I put it under the light. I will take the brush and clean out under here, clean that thickness out, and I think that that will help. I think it looks really pretty. I may end up just keeping one and painting the rest of them kind of a clear color so they're all shiny like that, and just to see how this one wears before I commit to doing the whole set. But it really wasn't hard. I mean, that's the first time I've ever done it. Was it perfect? No. Will it be better the next time? Probably. And eventually I think I could probably be pretty good at it. So there you go. I don't know how many sets you'd get out of one of these tubes. I don't know how far this goes, how long it lasts, but it's pretty easy. One more thing. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. I got this crystal lamp and I already took it out of the box. It comes with a charger and I love this lamp. It's, you can change the color. It also has a remote that you can turn it on and off with. You can make it flash, different colors. It can strobe. It can fade, so like it'll fade to another color. Now it's red and yellow. Or it'll do a smooth transition without fading, just one color to the next. Or you can just select the colors. And my intention is to put this in my background but when i did okay now it's not doing it i put it in the background for another video that i was doing and it looked like it was flickering and i realized that if it did that that would drive you guys crazy so change my color that's pretty that kind of matches my jars over there anyway i just thought that that was really pretty and fun i actually saw rhonda over at hot mess mama md get one of those and I was like, oh, I want that because I think it's just so pretty. Maybe I'll let it change colors here. Okay, so I think I'll let it just do its thing in the background there while I talk about the future of Timu on my channel. And the future of Timu on my channel is that there isn't one. I do not intend to submit this video to Timu for PR credit or anything like that because I just decided I don't want to be on that hamster wheel. The way the Timu Influencer Affiliate Program works, if you do a video like this and you submit it to them, you can earn more product credit. And so the more content you create for them, the more product credit you can get. And then therefore the more things that you can earn to create more content for them. And while I love some of the things I've gotten, I do not want to be a Timu channel. First of all, I don't need more stuff coming into my house all the time. And I don't want to be telling you that you need more stuff coming into your house all the time. And so because it's only paid in Timu credit, the only thing I can do with that is buy more Timu products. If it was an affiliate program that paid me cash so that I could choose what to do with that cash, then I might consider it. But it's not. And so I'm just not creating content for Timu anymore. And I've heard of people who submitted content and then didn't get paid for it. That hasn't happened to me. I did get full credit for the content that I submitted to them, thankfully. That said, I have my first grandbaby due in September and I got some super cute baby things for her for the baby shower. And I will probably continue to buy things from Timu. We, we bought a couple of things for the theater for some costumes. Some of it worked out, some of it's going back. The fact that they have such a good return policy, I think will keep me buying things when I need them, but I don't want to just get a whole bunch of stuff. Is that making you crazy yet? Yeah, it's kind of making me crazy. I'm going to pick a color and stick with it. There, we got blue. 
Okay, I deleted the app from my phone for the same reason that I don't have TikTok on my phone. You can agree with me or disagree with me. You might think, well, they've got all their information anyway. What difference does it make? I don't know. It makes a difference to me. And so if I need to purchase something, I just go through the website on my laptop. I'm not saying that I hate Timu. I will probably still buy things from there. And if I find something that I really like, I'll probably still share it with you just like I do from anywhere. But I will no longer be doing fully dedicated Timu haul videos. If you love those, great. I actually like watching them myself. I just don't want to do them. And like I said, if I get something, I probably will share it with you, but I'm not doing it for the purposes of getting Timu credit. So that's where I am on that. How do you feel about Timu? Have you bought from them? Do you stay away from them? Let's discuss it down in the comments below because I really would like to hear your thoughts on it. And if you have bought from them, what's the best thing that you've gotten from Timu? I'm going to put a video over there for you to watch next. I hope you will. And before you go, take a second, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn those notifications on and set it to all. I hope that you have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.